I made myself some toast. It's literally just sourdough bread, cream cheese, olive oil, salt, pepper, and cherry tomatoes. Pretty much every day I just wear a lip liner and then I put a little lip liner right here to like contour my nose, some blush, and then I curl my eyelashes and eyebrow gel. And I really like how it looks. Pat toast is so simple, but so good. It's my hyper fixation right now. So, um, it's been a couple days since I filmed. I took a couple days to myself and now I feel great. I'm gonna see Emma and Anna and like a bunch of my friends tomorrow and they like my banana bread so I wanna make some for them. Let me know if this lighting bothers you guys. I feel like it's okay but it might be a little too dark and if you think so, please, please feel free to tell me. So I have been making this banana bread since I was like 17 years old and every time I make it, it's a fan favorite. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make it. I went through my TikTok today because I was trying to find this video of me making banana bread. So I went through my TikTok to find this video of me making banana bread and I couldn't find it, but I did find every other TikTok I've ever posted and I was mortified. I truly was, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I deleted a lot of videos, sorry if you like to reminisce on my old TikToks. They're probably gone. Is this better? I just feel like this lighting is like so harsh. I don't know. I don't want to make a loaf this big. I want to make two so I can like give them out, you know? Or should I just make one big loaf and split it in half? But then it won't be cute. That's okay. I've been... Watching a lot of true crime lately, which is not a good idea. If you know me, you know that's not a good idea because I get very easily paranoid. And I'm just a girl, I'm just a girl. But I can't stop, like I just, I like the like miracle survival stories and I like hearing the girls, girls specifically. They defeat all the odds against them and survive. I like to hear that. So then I listen to the fucking terrible true crime story to get to the end where it's like the happy ending, but then I, still listen to the bad parts and then it gets in my head and I have nightmares and I freak out and it's just not good. Like a couple weeks ago, I called my uncle and my aunt because they live really close to me and I made them come to my house at like 2 a.m. because I convinced myself someone was out to get me and no one was. All right, so I didn't realize that I had so many bananas that were ripe and ready. So I mashed up 10 of them and I'm gonna put them in my KitchenAid. I usually only use three bananas, so I'm gonna triple all of my ingredients and pretty much just make a really big loaf. I've learned my lesson with the KitchenAid and I now melt my butter. I know that a lot of people don't like to melt their butter, but it just makes my life a whole lot easier. Normally, I would use half a cup of sugar, but since I'm making three loaves, I'm gonna use a cup and a half. I know that people say like, separate your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients, but honestly, I've been making this for so long that I just don't care. I, could, I always just like put it in one pot and make it go. I'm gonna add three eggs, three teaspoons of baking soda, and then I will add my flour. talk right now like every time I try to say anything it just doesn't come out so I put all of my dry ingredients in here and I'm gonna slowly add this into the wet ingredients oh my gosh if you guys knew how many takes that took me a lot She's fucking huge. I did not realize how much three loaves actually entails. I don't actually know how long I'm gonna keep that in the oven because it's so big. So I'm just gonna keep checking on it and poking it with a knife and hoping that it turns out good. 
Now I get to clean up. Cool. I'm gonna let it cool for a couple hours and then I'm gonna package them in the morning to give to some of my friends and I will show you guys how I do that. Um, yeah, it looks a little darker than I'd like but it was kind of hard for me to bake it since I was making so much of it. I didn't really know how long to put it in the oven so I'm happy with it. I'm gonna try a piece right now for you guys. good my notes are it's a little overcooked so I'm gonna keep the corner pieces for myself and then give like the good parts to my friends and I wish I had walnuts but I didn't that's it other than that it's good <laughs> okay I'm gonna go to bed Good morning, it is Tuesday today and I leave to Europe for 20 days on Thursday. So we're gonna go pick up some stuff. I need to like pretty much shop, I need to get some stuff. Like I don't, I don't have Europe attire right now. So my pullover is from MA Studios. I love MA Studios, their stuff is such good quality and it's so cute. This is from Amazon, it was like $14 and it's very soft. My jeans are Tommy Hilfiger and Uggs. Let's go to Urban Outfitters. I probably won't vlog in there because I have social anxiety, but I'll give you a haul. I'm going to Positano for a week with Amanda, Emma, Anna, Riley, and Kenzie for Emma's birthday, and I am so excited. I loved going to Italy last year, so I'm just, I'm very excited. Um, it feels good to be vlogging though because I just don't feel like I've been doing social media lately like at all which is it's weird because it's, it's what I do like I've been doing it for four years so it's felt a little weird I've also like developed this weird fear of being perceived and I don't know where it's coming from because I've never cared but I like don't post on TikTok anymore because I am scared of being perceived and I don't want to like post something and then have everyone hate me and like I don't know why I'm thinking that I usually don't but that's why I'm not posting on TikTok I'll like post something and then I delete it and 10 minutes because I'm like, oh, I don't want people, I don't want to give people material to like judge me. It doesn't make sense. I need to talk to my therapist about it because I don't know where it's coming from. And I don't feel that way when I vlog. I don't know. Like I'm literally in acting class doing improvs and like screaming and crying in front of everyone and I don't care and I don't feel shy. But like <laughs> when I post a TikTok, I do and I feel like everyone's going to hate me and it's stupid so i need to work i'm gonna go to therapy in an hour it's fine i spent more money than i would have liked to not gonna lie i got these like jorts i think they're so cute i'm so excited to wear them then i got this little tank top i don't know it was like calling my name i think it's so cute like the little buttons i also just watched Coraline, so i think that also influenced my decision this is my scent this is what i smell like all the time just in case you were wondering and i had ran out I had ran out and I didn't feel like myself, so I got two of them. I feel like they're perfect for me to take to Europe, so I can just like throw them on when I'm going swimming. I got this dress because I think it would be so cute. One of the nights that we're going to dinner, look how cute it is. It's adorable, right? 
this little white tank top. I have a lot of like wife beaters, I guess, but they're like loose and I wanted one that like fits. Do you know what I mean? Um, EB Denim sent me a couple of things. Stop growling at each other. Um, they sent me this tiny little mini skirt and I am so excited to wear this. I'm pretty sure that this was a pair of jeans that they cut and made into a mini skirt and it's adorable. And they sent me these oversized jeans. I actually also ordered some stuff the other day from Urban Outfitters. Let me show you what I got. I got this because I feel like it'd be really pretty to wear in Italy. And it kind of reminds me of these shirts my mom used to make me wear when I was younger that I hated, which I now love. <laughs> it's funny how that works. I got this little tank top because it's really cute. Then I got this dress. Simple, basic. That's pretty much it. That's all I've got. I'm gonna pack everything today because I have an audition tomorrow and then I have a meeting. So I'm literally busy all day tomorrow. And then I leave the next morning. So I need to pack today and I need to get my shit together. But first I'm gonna go to therapy. Okay.